Hello, Reject Nation. It's Greg Elba here. And it's John over here. We're going to watch the trailer today for Jackie Chan's Old Man Chan, the foreigner. Old <laughs> Man <laughs> Chan. The foreigner. I'm excited. Directed just... by Martin Campbell, starring Pierce Brosnian. Oh, yeah. We were just talking about Jackie Chan the other yeah, day. Yeah, we're PJ Campbell is. on Twitter. Hey, uh, we're going to do a Patreon of the Day shout out at the end of this video for James Stegan. So, Steganator, if you're watching, keep a lookout. Anyway, let's yeah. watch this. Mission. Yeah. Please find out the names of the bombers. I work for the government, not terrorists. You used to work for them. I don't know who the bombers are. I don't believe in you. It's him. You will tell me the names of the bombers. The kill me on Tuesday. He's trained. Jackie Chan's taken, <laughs> except killed <laughs> instead. Dude, dude, dude. Oh, so many thoughts. The oh. other day, we were at Collider, and there's a guy who goes there a lot, Patrick, who has Patrick. a damn blog. Like, they can't keep remembering the names. He's PJ Campbell on Twitter. Yeah. And uh, him and I really bonded the other day because I grew up on old school Jackie Chan Hong Kong cinema, more than just Rumble in the Bronx and Super Cop. I, we were talking about Wheels on Meals, Spearless Hyena, the original Drunk Legend of Dracula Master, Master yeah. uh, Dragons Forever. It, it was such a good talk and such a delight to speak with him. And one thing we brought up is how um, Jackie Chan, I, we felt that he could go into a great dramatic path and how when he did The Karate Kid, that he was the best part of that movie and he showed he had great dramatic chops even in an American film because usually the times when he gets great dramatic recognition is in some Hong Kong cinema. So I've been wanting to see him like take on a much darker role in an American film. Yeah. And yeah. this is exactly like it's yeah. so, I had no idea about this film until today. And yeah, right? I saw <laughs> the, the, the trailer drop and I'm like, Jackie Chan's in a new movie? Yeah. <laughs> and then to see that, oh, this is a lot along the lines of what I've been hoping he would be doing because I'm like, he's older now. He can't be doing like fun, stick Jackie Chan doing comedy stuff as much anymore. This seems like the right direction for him. Yeah, especially now. I mean, especially now that we're in the age of like older guy action films. Yeah, old Man Chan. Yeah, Old Man Chan. And, and bringing in too, I mean, the thing about seeing Jackie Chan in a movie like this is you immediately get the elevated, like, you know Jackie Chan knows his shit when it comes to action and yeah. martial arts. And some of these action scenes, I mean, I'm sure he's got more stunt dudes now, but it still looks like he's doing the action. And yeah. that's super exciting. Yeah, I mean, he's playing like a significantly darker role. Like, yeah. he's more. He's, <laughs> yeah. This is a good guy who's going down a really bad path. Like, he's doing bad things just to get his revenge. It's more than just a straight up... I thought it was going to turn into a straight up revenge thriller. All he wants are names to the people who killed his daughter. So, the bombers. And so he's causing harm to these, like, government officials. 
in order just to get the names. So it's all anti-hero kind of uh, territory you're dealing with here. Yeah, it almost reminds me a little little hints of like a Korean thriller in the way that it's yeah. just like a good man pushed too far and now he's gonna go to some depraved depths to get what he wants. And so I'm curious to see how dark this ends up because yeah. it looks like it could be pretty dark. Yeah, he and looks pretty like gritty. He looks like he's given a really strong performance. Uh, and Martin Campbell has delved 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 delved, delved. delved into this territory before he uh Martin Campbell directed the Edge of Tomorrow miniseries and he directed the the movie with Mel Gibson. So and what? that's that's all a revenge story. Edge of Tomorrow? That's Edge, Edge of Darkness. Darkness? That's Edge, Edge of Dark Tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was thinking Edge of Darkness, yeah. Hey, he did the Edge of Darkness miniseries and the movie. I like the film actually. And you know he's done like Casino Royale. He's done like these dark action thrillers before. Mm. Worked with Pierce Brosnan and Goldeneye. So this seems like this could be a really good thriller for sure. This seems like this could be the one because Jackie Chan's uh, filmography of late hasn't seemed to have brought up very many hits and very uh, either financially or critically really. And this yeah. looks like it could have all the ingredients. Plus, I mean, for me, it's cool to see Pierce Brosnan back in the game and also yeah. like with his real accent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's Irish accent. Exactly. Yeah. I, I'm Pierce Rosnan. <laughs> it's like he's right next to me right yeah. now. Holy shit. James Bond? J James Bond? J J um, my Irish isn't great. Yeah, it's not James, either. James need to do more vocal. Bond. James, James Bond. Bond. James Bond. James Bond. I'll check a vodka martini. <laughs> Shake and not stirred. Yeah, I mean, what I'm most excited for is that if this film does turn out good, uh, either critically or financially, this could be a turning point in Jackie Chan's career. Yeah. Because the guy's like in his 60s now. Oh. And, uh, you know, when he came onto the scene in America and he started getting really popular, he was already, like, in his mid-40s by that time. So it makes sense that he didn't really... Because, like, the 90s he was big and early 2000s. Uh, but he hasn't been popular, like, in American cinema for quite a while now. Like, everyone knows who Jackie Chan is, but he hasn't had, like, a huge, like, worthwhile hit. So yeah. if this film's a hit, this could be, like, the turning point for him. This to take on be... more serious action roles. He could fight Liam Neeson in a this movie. This could be his take, and I was yeah. gonna say. And then, like, the foreigner could go all over the world. Yeah. The foreigner <laughs> down under. The foreigner Tokyo Drift. Like, there's so many possibilities. It's Chan versus Bond. Chan what versus Bond. Bond. One more, yeah. Like, that's, that's exciting to me. Old I, man I, Bond. And I, and I do hope that Pierce Brosnan gets to be a little bit badass, because in this trailer, he's mostly, seems like he's resisting doing much of anything yeah <laughs> so I, I hope that you know Pierce can be pretty pretty sweet in his own right so well here we go here we go yeah. foreigners man foreigners I'm all for foreigners and I hope the eye of the tiger gets played somewhere in here hopefully definitely dude Jackie Chan could now join the Expendables dude it's about time they, they could bring some humor to the Expendables <laughs> <laughs> all right Reed Jackson what do you think of the foreigner trailer are you excited are you as excited as we are are you are you are, are you now Nostalgia. Subscribe to The Real Rejects. Click that notification bell. John is Dat John Humphrey on Twitter and Instagram. Social media manager of Blumhouse. And also, James Stegans. Jimbo What's Steve. up, my buddy? James Stegans has been a longtime follower of this channel. He's a devoted follower over at our Patreon as well. Steganator, I want you to know that that's her new name. Steganator. Yeah. And what Steganator means is uh, that's when he farts. And it's a stink bomb, necessarily, but the stink bomb is not an actual stink bomb. It's uh, his farts. That's what Steganator means. So if you fart in the room, you can go, you just got Steganatored. So it's just a synonym for farts? Essentially, John. <laughs> okay. Essentially. Right. Well, congratulations. I I'm sure that, that many preteens around the world are going to be excited to use your, your name in its new content. Patron of the day shout out. Patron of the day.